Hello, look we're back another magic cat, and today we're back another crypto video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are having a good start of your weekends, ladies and gentlemen. To have today, we have a banger of a video. Honestly, it is an understatement how huge this video is. Um, we're gonna be covering something very new. Okay, I'm usually making videos on you know Pulse Chain, sometimes on Ethereum, like Titanix and stuff like that. But today, we're gonna be covering a potential meme coin that could take over this whole bull run. You guys heard me being bullish on pulse chains teddy bear and i am and i think those two meme coins have a very solid spot in the future again guys i need to remind you guys this is not financial advice it's just me bringing a spotlight on this token which is called welsh token and there's reasons to why it is absolutely bullish number one being the first move is an advantage to the first or there is multiple but it is built on a layer two Bitcoin network called Stacks, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're gonna get into what is Stacks, how does it work, etc. But before that, I gotta give a big thanks to my members supporting my channel to carry on doing what I do. The DeFi Insiders, guys. Speaking of that, two days ago, okay, I made a video on for members only AXGT. Literally, right, right here. I put a yellow line. You can see on the video itself where I put a yellow line, and then. You know what I mean? It's stuff like this that, uh, you know, pretty good stuff, right? Because the whole point is to look into low market caps. We're not talking about, you know, under 1 million. We're talking about the ones that are slightly more established, good companies and stuff like that. For example, an OPSEC is an, you know, is an example. Um, so, you know, this is the type of things that once you join as a member, you'll get access to, obviously. As I said, I have connections with other whales and I relay them to you guys. So, you know, it's a win-win. I do hope that I give you guys back the value of, you know, supporting my channel. So I really appreciate you guys. Even literally just to viewers and commenters, that makes my day when I read your comments and feedback and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, we're going to jump into, ladies and gentlemen, Welsh token. Shout out to people, the Welsh people, first of all. Um, Ta-da. <laughs> That's what they say. Uh, but yeah, this one is the first meme coin, as I said, built on bitcoin first movers advantage ladies and gentlemen okay this gives me and right now to keep it very quick and simple this is a 48 million mark cap now you guys you might look at this and be like whoa this is too high i'm not going to make that much in returns but guys you need to think about it. this is still a low market cap if you really think about it anything under 100 million is low market cap okay what are the numbers that shiba inu was able to to pull off okay it's at 5 billion right now, Shiba Inu, ladies and gentlemen. If we look at, okay, let's do all time. If we look at market cap, you know, it was at 15 billion, peaked all time high, 40 billion market cap. We get a calculator. And again, this is not financial, it's just for us to establish. This is, um, you know, Welsh token is on what? We said 50, let's just round it up to 50, right? Okay, this doesn't have comments, which is going to be kind of annoying. But let's say, um, you know, from here till 5 billion, the current token of the current market cap of Shiba Inu, which let's say it's going to be 5,000. Okay, 5,000 divided by. Yeah, I think it's 5,000. Yeah, yeah, 5,000. 5 billion divided by 50 million. Yeah, that's 100x, ladies and gentlemen. That's 100x on the dot, actually, 5.570. So if I actually redo that, uh, 5,790 divided by, you know, what it is right now, which technically is around 48 million, it's actually 120x. And this is, you know, not really taking in bull run effect where this can surpass this. Because I believe actually Shiba Inu itself will go above 10 billion when uh, bull run comes into full effect so keep that in mind so yeah we're looking at 120 x potential plus ladies and gentlemen not financial advice remember okay it's as when i say potential there's equal potential of it not doing that okay so keep that in mind but guys that's the review and i'm gonna tell you guys on how to get your hands in on welsh to have it in your wallet because this does take a few extra loops okay which i'm gonna give you guys a quick simplest way but I'm going to tell you guys first the actual best way in terms of, you know, either commission fees and, you know, what you guys need to actually learn how to, you know, do th these things uh, a certain way. Okay. Um, but I will give you guys a shortcut. So you want to watch the full video. 
and you will hear the shortcut, okay? So uh, first of all, Generational Welsh. First, meme coin on Bitcoin. Yep, great stuff, has it. Twi uh, Twitter stuff, uh, great, has a Telegram. 1,800 members, great. Uh, the Welsh Corgi coin project. Welsh Corgi coin is the first meme coin built uh, on top of Bitcoin. Bitcoin using Stacks blockchain, which is a proof of transfer, which is actually kind of sick. Uh, proof of transfer, but also known as proof of burn. And as I said, it's built on top of Bitcoin, where it uses Bitcoin's, you know, secure kind of transactions. Obviously, we all know this proof of work is almost, you know, 100% secure unless you have a 51% attack, which, you know, to get 51% attack, you need to have 51% of mining power, which is very hard. You'd need to have an upfront cost of equipment that's infathomable, honestly, I think so. Um, you know, unless you get the world's governments all align and, you know, whatever. But anyways, Bitcoin has been secure. It's, it has a 99.8%, 99.98% uptime, zero disruptions. Bitcoin has been working since the first ever block transaction, which I believe is called the Genesis block since 2009, ladies and gentlemen. So of course, Stacks is super secure, building a layer two on top of Bitcoin, now enabling for smart contracts, DeFi, DAOs, ROI dApps, everything. This is huge. Honestly, Stacks can be huge itself. Um, you know, I'm going to leave a link for you guys. This is what I'm talking about. This is a nice, uh, you know, article I was reading. What is Stacks and how does it work? So I'm going to leave that in the description for you guys to do your own research and talk about that. But this is a nice little illustration that shows Bitcoin proof of work, Stacks proof of transfer, high security, high scalability. And then you got, you know, on top of it, what does it enable, right? Layer three now we're talking. And then it goes down and it tells you, it tells you the mechanism, how miners, they need to have Bitcoin and then they send basically those transactions in Bitcoin. And once it goes through, uh, they get back in hand, you know, Stacks, as a reward plus transaction fees and stuff like that everything is written you know on bitcoin that gets validated um you know again i can't really go into technical details i need to research more but that's about the knowledge that i have about it so far really interesting stuff stacks uh launched around i don't know 2018 and then they had an update where they launched the second mainnet and they also called it stacks uh at 2020 so uh yeah pretty cool stuff honestly um yeah, without further ado, let's really, they have an NFT collection and great stuff. I'm going to skip over that because the main thing is the token for me. How to buy Welsh on, you know, there's Alex, there, you know, Arc Arcadico, and they got Stack Swap. Personally, my favorite one so far has been Alex. Um, I haven't really seen Arcadico. Ah, oh, they look pretty similar. But I bought mine on Alex, uh, which is decentralized exchange but we're going to get to that in a second because now we need to take a step back we need to get our hands on stacks how do you do that so obviously they here they tell you make sure you have your funds converted to stacks okay now you will usually require a centralized exchange and what i personally used was binance i used binance um you know there's you know you know a downside to some people that say it does require kyc okay so if there is a if you do want to skip that KYC, I do have a solution for you, which I have the link in the description for that. I'll have the link in the description to that. It's called Change Now, um, where you can literally bridge, gentlemen. You can bridge your assets from one, like for example, look, stacks. It's gonna be right there. I can do that with Ethereum, I can do that with Bitcoin, I can do that with Pulse. Let me double check if that exists. It does exist. That's great. It literally does that in under like three, four, five minutes. Okay. Which is pretty cool stuff. Um, and then at the same time, it has a capability of doing a off-ramp and on-ramp crypto. So you can sell your crypto straight to your bank account or you can buy crypto straight from your bank account. Okay. So yeah, you can also sell your pulse. Okay. But video on that very soon either way. Um, so yeah, and then sometimes trading pairs are not available. You just have to wait a few hours or another day really um so yeah pretty cool stuff and on top of that it's a mixer so uh do with that information as you will next up you need to get your hands on stacks so as i said you have to get your hands on it through a centralized exchange like binance and then transfer it to a stacks supported wallet okay which here they say they recommend leather link to the description on that i know this sounds like a lot of steps guys you have to go through it take it step by step really put that down don't focus on the whole picture Go with, okay, what do I have to do next? And that's the only thing you need to focus on, okay? Get my hand on stacks, either from a centralized exchange 
or I'm gonna use a bridge. But before, if you wanted to use a bridge, for example, here stacks, you know, from uh, let's say from BNB to stacks, and then let's say I have two BNB, I'm gonna click on exchange. Okay, it's gonna tell me enter stacks payout address. So this is the point where you have to watch this video and install a leather browser extension. And because this one allows for stacks, it supports it. MetaMask doesn't do that as of now, I think. Um, and what you want to do after you have that, for example, I have it in top right. I dropped, you know, I, I bought, you know, you can see my Welsh coin right there. I think I, it's around $600. I'm happy. I'm going to hold this to dust or to moon. Okay, if it goes down, I'm going to buy the dip. I'm only accumulating from here. Guys, this is a long term play for me. I don't know about you, no financial advice. This is what this video is a documentary, it's a spotlight overview. Okay, so yeah, once you get the leather, you create your new wallet. Okay, you get your 12 or 24 word passphrase, save that somewhere secure, write that down, put it in your cupboard, whatever. Okay, I believe you can also integrate ledgers into this. So if you want to do that, you can do that. So once you're here, then you want to click on receive, for example, and you want to click on the stacks, copy address right there. And that's what you're going to take in right here and to paste. You're going to paste in the recipient wallet address right here. Okay. At the same time, you could do that in Binance. When you say Binance, when you say withdraw, you put that wallet address that I just showed you in Binance so you can send it over. And this can take 10 minutes and it did take 10 minutes for me because the stacks network is not that quick. Okay. Unfortunately, um, I'm not sure what's the block time, but it's not that quick. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, as long as you've done everything, you don't need a memo. So for example, central exchanges, they will stress, are you sure you don't need a memo? You don't need any memo, you know, to receive stuff. You just put in the right address and that's it. Like, look, it'll tell you. That's it. You know what I mean? It's as simple as that. So once you send stacks to your leather, it gets easier from now, guys. It really does. It gets easier. And change now makes it a hell of a lot easier. You can leech you from any wallet. Easy to do this. Okay. Easy, easy to do this. Um, but anyways, next up, for example, I used Alex, Alex lab, I like him. Um, and then from there, thankfully, because it's so easy, what you can do, you can go to, where was it? Um, trade? No, it was somewhere here, actually. Launch bad. I forgot, but it was somewhere where, oh yeah, token list. There you go. Th thankfully, because, you know, Welsh is kind of, uh, already known by, or recognized by a lot of those texts. You don't have to worry about pasting the right wallet address. Oh my God, am I buying the wrong one? It's just right there. It's uh, mentioned. You can see you know, the token address, the website, Twitter, Discord. And then we click on swap. All you got to do is scroll down and find it or type it. Welsh, it's recognized right there. So you put your X amount of stacks left. And I believe one transaction costs about 0.75 stack or one stack which is around $2.50, I think. Let's see. Yeah, $2.50. So you want to keep enough stacks for the future transactions when you sell, buy, or anything. Okay, so to keep keep that in mind, you want to keep at least like, I don't know, five stacks left over or 10 stacks left over, really. Um, and then, yeah, easy. You buy that. You click on swap, for example. You confirm, you know, sl slippage torrents at four. Play around with it, really. But I, I kept it four just in case. Um, and then again, as I told you guys, it did take me like 10 minutes because that block was waiting to be confirmed, but it did get confirmed in the end, you know, so happy days. I'm not, I was never worried and I trust Alex swap, but obviously keep in mind, you know, you can look around it. There's, there's a stack swap as well. We can look into that. Um, but you know, I trust this website that they're not going to put any malicious dexes, but I trust everything. And now it's in my wallet. It's in my wallet. I own those crypt. I own those keys. This is not on a centralized exchange. This is safe. I'm holding it. You know, like that's the beauty of the, of the investments. Really, you own them, right? Ownership. It's not. Uh, you don't have to stake them somewhere where you're leaving it in a smart contract, which can be hacked or vulnerability attacked. None of that. So uh, yeah, that's great. So guys, that's the end of the video. Really, shout out to Welsh. Guys, if you're new, if you're watching this video from a stack network and you guys are new to my channel, hello, welcome. I do post chain videos mainly. Okay, where I'm bullish on post chain. And guys, honestly, I'm never going to be like solely in one network and that's it. No, I follow the money. <laughs> okay, it's nothing personal. Crypto is a solo sport. You want to follow the money. So I do interact with Ethereum. I do interact with BNB. I do interact with post chain and now in stacks. Okay, so uh, yeah, maybe you should do that as well. Not financial advice. I'm just saying that as a general, general, general advice about 
diversifying your bag. Okay, <laughs> don't take it any other way. But I'm gonna leave all the links in the description for this. Um, as I said, that's my overview of it. You know, predict price predictions. I think it's possible to see this reach Shiba Inu numbers today. That would be amazing, life changing money. Honestly, guys, it could even go more. Because remember, Shiba Inu went forty billion. Guys, forty billion. I will lit that. That's crazy. Forty billion, first of all. And I see Shiba, Shiba Inu literally still doing a another two to three x, four x, five x. There's a bull run, to be honest with you guys. But obviously, I'm not gonna buy Shiba Inu. It's already established. It's already mainstream. Like it's gonna be super. It's already so liquid, so high in in market cap that it will take so much amount of money to pump it. You know what I mean? Like even if Elon Musk tweeted about it. Same thing with Dogecoin. Okay, we're in a new we're in a new bull run, guys. There's tons of new opportunities. So stick around. Watch my videos, you'll be informed, and you shall have your decisions. You shall have those cards on your table, and you decide, okay? I'm here to make you guys more disciplined investors. Anyways, it's already 1 a.m., so if you guys are watching this, please give it a like. Please give it a comment. <laughs> uh, subscribe if you're new as well, and give me feedback. What did you like about this video? What did you not like about this video? Hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend, and uh, yeah, see you in another video. Take care.